Hi, this is Naomi with Sword and Steel, and today I'm going to be opening four pieces of terrain. They are all Battlefield in the Box by Gale Force 9, and they are Collapsed Corner, Fallen Angel, Craters, and Blasted Terrace. Uh, let's start with the craters. Here is number one, and I don't think this is the biggest one. Look at that. The detail is awesome. Look at that texture. You could definitely repaint it to a different color if you wanted to. Not altogether certain what this is supposed to be, this part here, but some detail. Not so certain I'd keep it this monochrome. Here's number three. Are this supposed to be some sort of rusted iron, I think? Some rusted metal. Number four. So much texture. Yeah, you could uh, repaint it to whatever color you want. And there'd still be enough texture that you could get all of these beautiful rock effects easy. And number five. So it's made out of some sort of cast resin. And dry brushed after that. It's quite solid but um, also quite light. You could definitely beat it around, I think, without it being, without being worried too much. And they've got texture to them that um, they don't move around either. There's uh, resistance, not slippery, anything like that. You could stack them for storage, I think. Uh, that's about 19 inches. Let's look at the Fallen Angel now. It has a felt bottom, good for keeping it on the battle mat without much movement. You do have to force it along. At its highest point it is about three inches tall. Now let's have a closer look. Look at all of that rubble. Same as the uh, craters, you could certainly paint over all of this into your own color scheme. The texture is, this is all very rough to touch. You could definitely uh, maintain all of this texture with um, a repainting. Just a simple basing and a few coat, uh, different br dry brushing. It's a nice weight, but definitely one that, you know, I'm five foot one and I feel no problem carrying it around. A, definitely a solid weight. Um, I don't know, I'd probably guess uh, 400, 500 grams, something like that. All right, Blasted Terrace. And this one is also a single piece, 26 centimeters long. Ah. 
This looks really nice. Let's have a very close look at all that texture. Hmm. A little piece of string. Look at that. It also has felt on the bottom. I can feel it a little bit loose around some of the edges. I think the felt is just stuck on with some sort of glue, or if, if stick on felt is a thing, but not a problem. It's not trying to come off, it's, I just notice it's a little bit loose in some places. A bit monochrome again, I think I would definitely add a bit more color. I'd probably wash it in places and maybe dry brush it some different colors here and there so just to give it a bit of because I don't know if I'm not that certain but I don't know if runes would be so monocolor um, on the other hand I guess if it all the dust is coming from one place so I guess it would be monocolor I'd have to check out my runes I'd probably look up some real runes and see what the colors are and go along with that. I, th I think I want a bit more contrast though, some more darks in comparison to some lights. Still, it is a great foundation and the dry brushing is done really nicely. All right, last one, collapsed corner. The collapsed corner is another single piece. 22 centimeters long and 21.5 centimeters wide. I'll see how tall in a moment. Ooh. Look at that. This looks great. Look at all that rubble. Has the felt bottom as well. Definitely some sort of stick on felt bottom. I can feel a little bit of wrinkles here and there. Um, but still good. I like that. I like the effect of the rubble coming down, flowing down. That's nice. And it is six inches tall and it was mm, approximately eight inches long in its tallest points. So you can definitely fit it into a bunch of different games with those dimensions. There's the board measuring at three feet. Those are really nice pieces. They've got so much detail going on. You can use them as is or you could definitely with, yes, just some washing and some um, varied dry brushing. You could give them a lot of color if you wanted to. Guildford's Nine has actually done a lot of various terrain pieces that exactly match these new pieces. Uh, so you can absolutely have a full battlefield worth of terrain all matching, which sounds very nice. I just need to grab the right battle mat. Gale Force 9 does his own battle mat, so I'll see. Perhaps they have one that matches this terrain. I would be surprised if they didn't. If not, I shall look around. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you later. Bye!